Hey guys, it is Briar Trot here, and welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be talking about things that trigger me, and also at the end I will be telling you guys some things that people DM me on Instagram, then they told me like what triggers them. And if you're not already, go follow me on Instagram. It is xxbriartrot. I'm getting a lot of them in now, thankfully, because like I posted it like an hour ago, and only two people like said anything. But now they're like all coming in. So good. So I guess we'll start off with, well I guess I'll tell you the format kind of what this game is. I'm just gonna you know, like say what it is, explain it a little bit, tell you why it triggers me. This is kind of like a um, Mono Horse Pet Peeves videos with just a different name and since triggered is hip and cool and I know I use it all the time, I'm sure you guys do too if you're like a teenager. <laughs> but yeah, so let me get into the list and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that triggers me um, is when people tell me how I should display my models. Like, it just really it annoys me. It gets me angry. Like, that's what I mean by triggered. Like, it actually like, gets me angry. Like, I am triggered. Um, so, pretty much when I get comments sometimes, it, like, the main thing is like, oh, the mother should be with their foals and all that stuff. Because I do have like a few mom and full sets, but like I like to have my foals together. I like to have my like adult horses together. And I'm sorry if you don't like the way it looks, but it's my collection. I display it how I want. You do you, I'll do me. Like, I don't know. It's just, it always just irked me. Oh, the next thing is asking if model is for sale. It won't even be my model. I'll like see somebody else comment on somebody else's page and it just, oh, it annoys me. Cause I'm just like, where in the description did it say that it was for sale? Nowhere. Just annoying. Cause it's, it's, it's just annoying. Um, another thing is when, I know this is totally off topic, but if you guys know who um, the Roxy Queen is uh, on Instagram and also on YouTube, she like constantly has people like saying that she paints models and she doesn't and she's like said it so many times and it's in her bio and I feel like and so many people ask her like oh do you take commissions all this stuff like do you paint and I was like it annoys me like cuz and then she'll just like comment read my bio but like I, sometimes I just have to comment back I'm just like she doesn't paint horses like honestly <laughs> I'm like totally just gonna rant on this video like whatever uh, okay next thing is overpriced models um, I mean it just it's more annoying than triggering um, it's just kind of annoying when you see like a model that's really worth $30 selling for $80 and you're just like well, what are you doing you're trying to get like every little penny out of it or like selling a model that would be $100 LSQ at like low PSQ but still selling it for $100 because like you've seen other horses of that same model selling for that much. Another one, it's not really model horse related, related. <laughs> it's when people ask me to subscribe to them and I'm gonna be honest I mean I subscribe to a lot of you guys because I mean I love watching model horse youtubers there's honestly not a lot that are super active I feel like I mean I'm not even that active I like have been but I mean I'll go like three months without making a video I'm just like oh sorry uh, but you know I like looking at your guys channel and everything but it is very very annoying when people ask me to subscribe to them because it honestly makes me want to not subscribe to you that much more I, like <laughs> I'm not kidding like if you tell me I will like purposely not subscribe to you but I mean if you comment like something nice usually I'll click on your account and look through it so I mean just like I don't know it's just and that's probably like just my problem <laughs> But it's, I don't know, it's annoying. And it's, I'm just gonna stop talking about it. Um, okay. Next thing. When people talk about controversial topics that have nothing to do with model horses on Instagram or YouTube. I, but I'm mostly on Instagram and I feel like most of the model horse community is. But I mean, even with the election, I was just so annoyed because so many people were making so many posts about it. And a lot of them were like threatening to unfollow people who support a certain person. And I was like, that's so, that's so rude. Like, what's your problem? What is your problem? I mean, yeah, respect people's opinions. I mean, if you post something about it, like, I don't know. It's like, I never like really commented on any of them because it's just annoying. 
Um, but I mean, like, yeah, you could share your opinion, but don't go bashing people who, like, believe in something else. Because, like, yeah, you might think that it's wrong, but it's not wrong to them. And what you're thinking is wrong to them. So I saw a lot of it, which, oh my gosh, it got me so... <laughs> I was very triggered. Um, they, like, somebody like was yelling at people just saying like I'm gonna unfollow I'm following you and blocking you because you support a certain person and I mean like everybody's like excuse was well it shows a lot about them if they're supporting so and so but like that's such a small part of them and I can't I get it I get so passionate but yeah it's just it's insanely stupid next thing when people don't describe models as they as they are like when for a sale post so say I was like selling a model I'm selling this guy because this is a good example I could honestly in photos he looks LSQ right like you guys can probably think that he's LSQ and I could describe him as LSQ because in photos like you can't really tell unless you get like close-up pictures but I mean he is a warped leg he doesn't stand straight um he has a strand scratch right there actually but like so say like somebody sold me this model and they told me oh it's he's like 100% like LSQ and then you get him and you like pay the LSQ price for him and then you get him and you're just like wow I didn't know that he had a warped leg and I got a model that had like a broken leg once like it was it was cracked it wasn't broken if it was broken I would actually like <laughs> just kidding no violence but like it was just annoying. It was like, seriously, like, and she was like, and like, I told her and she was like, oh, well, I'm happy you like your model. Cause like, I think I said like, she's pretty the first second, like sentence. Now we are going to look at what you guys said and I'll be giving everybody credit cause we have to give credit. And I like read through the few that I did read through I agree with them so much and I wish that I thought of them about them because like it honestly these things like trigger me too I feel like we can all somewhat relate if we're like around the same age range like we can all relate to this <laughs> so the first one is by underscore plastic underscore pony underscore collector underscore and she said when young collectors play with expensive models and this is so me and it so triggers me so much and like it's just so because it's just like mm. I know, like, it was like, it's their models, they paid for it, they can do whatever they want. I'm just like, okay, but, like, it's an expensive model, and it kind of just makes me cringe when I see such a nice model being played with and not being, like, shown or just displayed nicely. Because, you know, it's a nice model. And I think I've, I've said this, def I've definitely said this in a, uh, what's it called? Model Horse Pet Peas video. <laughs> Okay, uh, somebody else said, when people make the Nakoda roll, oh, that person is Pickaboo underscore Briars, by the way, when people make the Nakoda mold rear, and honestly, same, I hate seeing it at shows, like, it honestly, I just want to, like, go over there and just, like, tip, tip them down, um, I have my Nakoda up there, and she also said the Kanaman Armera mold, and me too, because that's just annoying, like, okay, the Nakoda is, like, makes me, like, mad, like, I'm triggered, like, this much, the Kanaman Armera, it's, like, it gets like Connemara. I can't freaking say like, like it's just it, it just baffle it baffles me how people just uh, I get way too triggered and then I'm just like I need to stop. I'm gonna get in trouble. Someone's gonna kill me. It, it just it's so annoying. It's just like nice expensive models. Like I saw a Nakoda that was like limited to like thirty, and they were it's like oh nice. Okay, so Briar underscore Lover forty three. These are all on Instagram by the way. Um, said, when people call models toys, same, literally, same, <laughs> uh, my family, well, not everybody, like, most of my family is, like, pretty supportive about it and cool, but, um, there are some that just, like, are, they just, like, call them toys, and I'm just, like, what toy is worth, like, this much, and, like, I get it, like, the regular ones, like, people use them as toys, and, like, stable mates, and classics, and all the mother, but, like, not all of them are like the copper fox model they are not meant to be toys they're supposed to be like models to collect and like briar for special runs and customs and resins like they're not toys they're 
extensive models that I've paid a lot of money for and would really appreciate it if you would just like not be annoying about it. <laughs> Next person, these were the ones that I didn't read now. Um, Pine Needles Studios, no, Pine Needles Stables said, when people post models that they, that they get like every day, I wish. Okay, yeah, I see it's annoying because like, jealous but yeah I can see it wait when people post models that they okay I have to say that they wanted every day like so they wouldn't post their own pictures they would just like post but yeah I can see how that's annoying it's just like wow I wish I had that okay Briar Dapples said when people are rude to one another in the comments and also when people's posts get posts like a hundred posts of the same picture I hope I'm not too late you are on time uh, I'm gonna say all of that now. Um, okay. So, yeah, that's annoying. I hate when people repost stuff, especially like giveaway posts. It's like a hundred, literally a hundred times. Somebody posted it, like a uh, giveaway post, like three inch high. I just had to unfollow. I was just like, I, you're literally just clogging up my feed. It was so annoying. And then when people are read to one of them in the comments, yeah, I mean, usually I'll fight back with people when they like are rude to so, like somebody. I'm just like, Okay, like who are you? Like who do you think you are? And okay, last one. Kate Model Horses said, "People who cause drama that triggers me." Um, yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> and just a lot of unnecessary drama. And I'm just gonna like say this because like I've been thinking it. I never see the drama on Instagram. I've maybe only seen like two or three like big things that happen, but like most of them I like haven't seen it. And I just hear people talking about it and talking about it and talking about it. And I feel like just them t constantly talking about it makes it so much bigger than it has to be. Like, honestly, I feel like you're on Instagram. Just block them and you're done. Like, don't get all dramatic. If you guys know what recently happened, it, I was so annoyed. I'm just like, are you kidding me? Like, you're, you're so fake. I'm getting triggered. This is why I made this video. But, yeah, that's really... I think that's it. I will double check one more time. Yeah, I got everybody. Okay, so thank you guys for the people that did submit. I wish I gave you guys more time. I literally posted it like an hour ago. So they really didn't have much time. And it was right after school. I'm filming this while it's still light out. So the video is somewhat decent. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. I will be putting everyone's name that, um, said everything in the description below so make sure to go check them out they're all awesome people some video plans in the future i'm going to be making my Briarfest youth show survival guide i know that's been very highly wanted since i've said that i was going to do it and i will do it trust me i still need to sign up myself honestly i just haven't had time also i am going to a model horse show called long island model horse expo um it's in region 10 and i would love it if you guys would go because i want to meet some of you guys and like say hi and have friends there because like none of my friends are going i may be bringing one of my friends jenna who if you follow me on instagram you might know who she is but yeah make sure to like subscribe comment and most importantly stay fabulous bye